Good morning, children. I am Priya Tripathi, your English teacher. I hope you all are well at home. Today in English, we'll discuss about adjectives. So let's start. So here is the definition of adjectives. You all can go through it. An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives make our language beautiful. Here is a point we use adjective before noun and after verb. So in example you can see here in this sentence blue is an adjective which is in bold. It is, in, it is an adjective and car which is noun. So when we talk about ad adjectives then such words which are answering the questions like what kind, which one, how many, how much are surely adjectives. Let's see the boy is of good kind. Second happy father means the father who is happy. Th third one seven girls the girls are seven fourth one 20 rupees the amount is 20 rupees now here you all can see types of adjectives there are eight adjectives so we'll discuss it one by one first here adjective of quality so We'll discuss first of all adjective of quality. Words which describe the quality of a noun or pronoun are called adjective of quality. This answers the question of what kind. As we can go through the examples here, the first sentence is written, I have a beautiful house. So if we see the question, the house is of which kind? Or what kind? A beautiful house means the kind is beautiful. The second example is she has a red dress. What kind of a dress? A red dress. And the third example is they are honest employees. Which kind of employees? Honest employees. So let's see the other one. Adjective of quantity right quantity i think easily you can understand that quantity means amount part or portion so such words that describe the amount part or portion of anything are called adjective of quantity right so here are the examples we didn't earn much profit this year she had enough money for the entire family so here the words much and enough they both are adjective of quality let's see the other one proper adjective proper adjective means proper adjectives are formed from a proper noun and you all are knowing what are the proper nouns here, India, Buddha, Ireland, Britain, they all are proper noun. So, by using it, the proper adjectives are Indian, Buddhist, Irish, British. We have two examples here. We are Indians, Buddhist monks set with folded palms. Let's see the other one. Adjective of number. Adjective of number like number is only telling the definition of it it expresses the definite quantity of noun or in other words it tells us exact number of something adjective of number is subdivided into two categories two categories are first one definite numeral adjectives and the second one is indefinite numeral adjectives so let's discuss them Definite numeral adjectives are again subdivided into two categories. They are cardinals and ordinals. So let's discuss cardinals first. 
it denotes how many that is 1 2 3 so basically countable nouns are related to cardinals like here one example is given there are 45 students in our class right and here comes ordinals it denotes order of things in a series means when we have to give any rank like Ravi is first rank holder in the class so here we are using ordinals let's see the other one indefinite numeral adjectives it doesn't denote an exact number of a person or thing words such as many some much little few several none all etc used as indefinite numeral adjective means if you are not sure about the number means exact number or definite number then we have to use such kind of words here two examples are given many employees attended the meeting many employees attended but how many exactly we don't know there are several shops in the market but how many shops we don't know so for such kind of elaboration and explanation we are using such kind of indefinite numeral adjectives let's see the other ones here comes demonstrative adjective the adjective that points out a person thing or animal is called demonstrative adjectives means such kind of words like this that these those are used with us demonstrative adjectives when anything is kept on the table we are saying this is my book these shirts are white so such kind of words this and these are demonstrative adjectives now let's see the other ones distributive adjective an adjective used to refer to each and every person thing separately that means suppose that we have to talk about all the children sitting in the class but we have to emphasize them separately so for that reason we are using distributive adjective here comes two examples each boy took the test we are talking about each and every student sitting in the class or a boy sitting in the class but as we are speaking it emphasizes each and every boy sitting in the class and the second one is every nation is proud of its culture here we have used the term every nation but it denotes or simplifies that we are talking about all the nations next interrogative adjective it is very simple children interrogative adjective means question words a word that modifies a noun by asking a question is called interrogative adjectives that is what which whose where when etc in example you can see what is your name whose bag is this so wherever question words are coming easily you can identify that those words are interrogative adjective now possessive adjective we can say possessive adjective possessive as the name itself is telling that in this adjective possession is coming means ownership on something like this wallet is mine means we are showing our possession to the wallet that that this wallet is mine and second one is we begin our work at noons whose work our work at noon so here also we are talking about our own work so here also we are showing possession let's see the next one listen children i hope whatever i tried to explain you all have understood it nicely so when you'll be able to finish this assignment by yourself without any other help so i will understand that yes my purpose was successful to make this video so here very simple questions are given try to solve it good day to all of you thank you so much